Welcome to my first vegetable garden in my Facebook gardening group. Today is January 31st and I want to show you a couple of ways you can manage fungus, fungus gnats and other flying insects around your seed starts. I just did a video on cinnamon and cinnamon has antifungal properties and you can put that right on your starting mix just like that. That will help prevent fungus from growing which is what fungus gnats eat. It also helps with damping off disease and you can check out that video. One thing you can do is just use plain old apple cider vinegar. A lot of people use this to deal with fruit flies in their house. You can do this for fungus gnats and other insects that are going to be flying around your seed starts. Just fill up a little container with some apple cider vinegar and you're just going to sit that in your closet or wherever you have your seed starts and the fungus gnats and other insects will be attracted to this. They will land on it and they will die about every week just change this. But this is one method to help control mostly the fungus gnats. And again, you want to do different things because like the cinnamon will deal with the fungus growth. I also use neem oil. I have a video on that. But the apple cider will help kill the adults that lay the eggs. The other thing that you can do is you can make sticky traps out of Vaseline and something yellow. So anytime you have a chance that you're at Home Depot Lowe's, Walmart, always think about painting your walls yellow and stop and get a few of these paint strips, these color strips, and bring them home and, and check out, you know, see if you want to use them. If you don't use them, certainly then you can make this. You're just going to make a simple triangle. Take a strip, fold it down the middle in half, and this, you know, makes a nice triangle. If you can't get these paint strips, I just went to the uh, school supply section at my giant and get just a file folder, cut out a strip just like that, same principle, fold it in half. You want it to be yellow, yellow is the key color. And fold the bottoms about equal. All right, so now we have two yellow triangles, tape the bottom just a little more secure that way. Vaseline, the fly wings will stick to this. You can use a knife. Build the triangle first and then you're just smearing the Vaseline on just like that. And that will make a sticky trap. You just sit that right down where your seed starts are. Insects, fungus nets will be attracted to this and they will stick to that. And just change this whenever you need to. The other thing that you could do is if it's wide enough, let's see, is just sit the trap on there just like that. You would just coat in this case. And again, nothing, this is just a principle. You don't have to be perfect with this. Get the Vaseline on there. This time we'll do the taped side. So now, you might want to make it just a little bit wider so it sits better. But the idea would be is that the yellow is going to attract them to the vinegar. The smell of the vinegar will attract them to the vinegar and to the sticky trap. So the yellow color and the smell of the vinegar work together and you'll catch more fungus and uh, more fungus gnats that way and other insects. This is important because each year I do get fungus gnats. I changed my approach this year. I boiled hot water and prepared my starting mix with hot water. Of course I let it cool off before I planted it but I did that to kill out any spores, any eggs and then I started using neem oil spray right away and so far it's been effective but these are other things that you can do to help control fungus, fungus gnats and other insects. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therosticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.